So let's do an example. Let's say we have a cylindrical uh, tank that's 30 feet in diameter. It has 7,000 gallons of gasoline in it. How long will it take to burn without intervention? Let's say we, we come across, uh, upon the scene and we, we know from uh, whoever is running the plant that there are 7,000 gallons in it. We can see it's a 30 foot diameter, 30 foot diameter tank. And so maybe we want to do a quick back the envelope calculations to estimate how long it's going to burn. So we have gasoline, and maybe we want to be conservative, so we're going to say our regression rate is equal to 6 inches per hour. Okay, so that's what we'll go with. So we'll say we know we'll be there, that'll require us to be there the longest. So we're interested in finding the time. We said the time was equal to H divided by our regression rate. So we know this. We need to find this so that we can get to this. Alright, so we said H was equal to the volume of the tank, or the volume of the fuel in terms of meters cubed, divided by the area of the tank in terms of meters squared. Alright, so our We need to calculate the volume. I'm just thinking about switching pages. The volume is going to be a function of how much gasoline we have. We have 7,000 gallons. So we know one gallon is 3.685 liters. And uh, you may or may not remember one meter cubed is equal to 1,000 liters. So we can use this conversion. We say we have 7,000 gallons. We know that one gallon is 3.85, 3.685 liters. There are 1,000 liters in one meter cube. So this will tell us how many meters cu cubed of gasoline we have. So we take 7,000 times 3.685 divided by a thousand and we get 25.8 meters cubed of gasoline okay so let's write that down again we have a volume is equal to 25.8 meters cubed next we need to know our area we know area is pi over 4 times diameter squared. So that's pi over 4 times 30 feet. And we know 1 foot is equal to 0 0.3048 meters. So we need to do the conversion before we square it. Right? Uh, or we could calculate it in terms the area in terms of feet squared and then convert it to meters if we wanted to. But pi divided by 4 times parentheses 30 times 0 0.3048 close parentheses squared is 65.6 meters squared. Alright, so then our H is equal to our volume divided by area, so that is 25.8 meters cubed divided by 65.6 meters squared, which is equal to 25.8 H divided by 65.6 is equal to 0 0.39 meters and so we can convert meters we know our time is equal to H divided by regression rate so this is equal to 0 0.39 meters 
divided by 6 inches per hour. So we can either convert this number to meters or we can convert meters to inches. So there are oops, 1 meter or 0 0.3048 meters is equal to 1 foot and 1 foot is equal to 12 inches. So if we do this, we get 0 0.39 divided by 0 0.3048 times 12 is equal to 15.35 inches divided by 6 inches per hour is equal to 15.35 divided by 6 2 2.56 hours. And then what do we need to do? We need to say, is this reasonable? Okay, so this is a little bit more difficult than just saying, this is the number that we look at and follow the math. We say we have 7,000 gallons. That's a lot of fuel. We have a rather large tank, though. It's 30 feet in diameter. We know that it's not going to burn up in a minute. It's going to last, definitely going to last longer than a minute, but it is a finite amount of fuel. It's probably not going to last for days. So we know that uh, we're, we're greater, much greater than, let's say, a minute, and then we're much less than, let's say, a year, or a month, or even a day. Potentially, we can have cool fires that last for multiple days. But it'd be difficult to get them to last for months or years. So I'm going to say that this number is reasonable for this particular example. If we do a quick double check of our math, we see 7,000 gallons. We know it, it's got to be less than 7. No, it's got to be more than 7 because we're dividing 7,000 by 1,000 and multiplying it by a number. So that seems like it should be something around 25. And then if we check this, we have 30 times 0.3 is about 10. 10 times uh, 10 squared is 100 times 3 divided by 4 is about 75. So this is somewhere around 75, so that's pretty good. 25 divided by 65 is going to be less than a half. So we have less than a half.